how we will open the spinal cord. Mostly, spinal cord is not opened. It is open only when there is a special indication. Spinal cord is open in prone position. Wooden block is placed under the chest and the head is bent downward. Midline incision from the occipital protuberance to the lumbar vertebra 4 is made. After this primary incision, muscles are dissected all the way. Aptus is disarticulated. With the help of the double bladed saw, the lamina are sawed through the entire length and separated by a chisel. Dura is open and checked for any hemorrhage, inflammation, tumor, pus. Nerves are cut from below as they pass through the spinal foramina. And the cord is separated from foramen magnum. Cord is then sectioned transversely and serially. Lastly, the vertebral column is examined for any fracture or dislocation. So now we have examined the skull cavity. So how now we will open the neck? These are exposed by further elevation of the skin, subcutaneous tissue as far as the areas of mandible. So you know I told when we are using the eye incision, eye incision starts from chin to the pubic symphysis. So the incision which you have, you have already given, the subcutaneous tissues are separated up to the mandible. If, you, if there is some suspicious interference at the level of the neck, then layer by layer dissection of the neck muscles should be done and details are noted regarding any injury to the muscles, thyroid gland, larynx, trachea, hyoid bone or blood vessels of the neck. You have to observe any details about any pathological lesion if present. Then the tongue is removed and details are observed. Opening of the thorax and abdomen. Reflect the skin along the muscles from the chest cage. Then we will cut the costal cartilage just medial to the costochondral junction by a large heavy cartilage knife. This will open the chest cavity. In advanced case of age, if the cartilage is calcified, rib shear is used to cut. The knife should be placed parallel to the surface of the body so that the point may not enter the cavity and damage the lung. The capsular ligament is cut to disarticulate sternoclavicular joint. The first rib is then sweared with rib shear. Now we will dissect the diaphragm starting from one side 
we will free it from the last rib and remove the triangular piece of chest wall to expose heart, superior mediastinum and pleural cavity. The characteristics of tissue in anterior mediastinum and size and consistency of the lymph nodes are observed. So now we have opened the chest, abdomen and skull, all the three body cavities, which is a protocol of autopsy. You have to open the three body cavities. Now how we will examine the heart? To examine the heart held at the apex and lifted upward so that the pulmonary vessels superior vena cava, inferior vena cava and ascending aorta can be examined. The pulmonary artery is palpated and then the vessels are cut open. Pericardium is incised and examined for any blood or fluids. Heart is opened in the direction of the blood flow. That is inflow outflow method. The enterotome is inserted into the right atrium and from right atrium to the tricuspid valve, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk and from pulmonary trunk we will proceed to pulmonary vein, left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricular, ventricle and then ascending aorta. Both the auricular appendages are examined for thrombi. Heart should eventually be weighed and the various measurements of the circumference of the valves or the thickness of the ventricles are taken. Coronary arteries are examined by making serial cross-section to check for antimortem clots. To check for infarction and fibrosis, muscles of the right and left ventricles are incised. Subendocardial hemorrhage, flame-shaped, confluent, patchy hemorrhages may be seen in the left ventricle on the left side of the interventricular septum. This is seen in severe hypotension, intracranial damage, death due to ectopic pregnancy or arsenic poisoning. For the examination of the lungs, anterior surface is faced upwards, pulmonary artery is identified and cut as far as possible using small scissor. Then we check for atherosclerosis, thrombi or emboli. Steps are retraced via pulmonary vessels, check for thrombi. At hilum, a long bl bladed knife is placed with the blunt end facing upwards, pierced into the hilum and the knife is turned upward so that the sharp end now faces upward. Song motion hilum is 
cut. Lungs are mounted on the board, are held in the left hand, then incision is made from the apex to the base, hence producing an anterior posterior slice. Cut sections are then examined for consolidation, for the presence of edema, atelectasis, correct any emphysema or some emboli. So now, how we will examine stomach after autopsy? After applying double ligature, the stomach is opened along the greater curvature from the cardiac to the pyloric end and then size of the pyloric ring is noted. Contents of the stomach are examined for any nature of food which might be present and its state of digestion, smell, color, character, the presence of any foreign body or any suspicious material and smell of the gastric contents should be observed. Mucous membrane is examined for congestion, hemorrhage, ulceration or any other abnormality. While we are examining the intestine, we should observe the color, consistency, any adhesion, hernia, hemorrhage, Serosal surface should be observed. Small intestine is opened along its line of mesenteric attachment. Large intestine is opened along the anterior tinea coli. While examining, we should observe any inflammation, congestion, any perforation, erosion, any abnormality. Now, <clears throat> after completing our autopsy, we have to close the body. We have completed our, our autopsy, so now body cavities should be cleaned and made free from any blood or fluid. All the organs which we have examined are placed back in and excess space is packed with cotton or cloth, especially in case of pelvis and the neck region. Dissection flaps are closed and sutured Skull is filled with cotton and absorbent material and the skull cap is placed back and the scalp is stitched. Body is washed with water, dried, covered with clothes and handed over to the police officials. So this was a brief review how we will use autopsy incisions, which is what are the types of autopsy incisions, how we will open the body cavities, and how we will examine the various viscera. Thank you very much.